now we'll discuss about Carnegie-Yellow reactions mechanism and uh, crossed Carnegie-Yellow reactions mechanism. Okay. So unlike aldol condensation, Carnegie-Yellow reaction takes place when there is no alpha hydrogen atom. Carnegie-Yellow reaction takes place if aldehyde does not have any alpha hydrogen atom example methanol benzyl dehyde it does not have beta carbon so there is no beta hydrogen atom it does not have any alpha carbon so it does not have any alpha hydrogen atom also okay so carbon atom number one is not called as alpha carbon atom number two is called as alpha carbon atom okay c2 is c alpha but this is c1 similarly if you will see benzyl dehyde Here also we will find that there is no alpha hydrogen atom. Although this is alpha carbon atom, but this alpha carbon atom is flanked with two more carbon atoms, but no hydrogen atom. Okay, there is no hydrogen atom. No alpha hydrogen atom is there. Similarly, if you take this molecule, CH3. C, CH3, CH3, CHO. Here also we will find that there is no alpha hydrogen atom. Although it is alpha carbon atom, but these are not alpha hydrogen atom. Okay. These are beta hydrogen atoms. So these kind of molecules, if they are treated with base, then they undergo disproportionation reaction that means self oxidation self reduction reaction so one mole will become acid and one mole will become its corresponding alcohol like this it will become one mole will become oxidized carboxylic acid and the other mole will become corresponding alcohol that is benzyl alcohol so two moles of the molecule will react one mole will become acid and the other mole will become its corresponding alcohol similarly in this molecule also this will form ch3 i can write it whole thrice for convenience and C COOH plus CH3 whole thrice C CH2OH. So one mole is oxidized product another mole is reduced product. Now for the molecule methanaldehyde, which I had taken here, what will happen? One molecule will become methanoic acid and the other molecule will, will become methanol. So one will be oxidized product and the other will be reduced product. 
now we can understand the mechanism of this reaction using any of these three molecules okay so we will understand the mechanism of this using methanol and then we will practice it one once using benzyl dehyde and then you can do the practice using this molecule which is tri substituted with methyl group okay its iupac name would be 1 2 two, 2 two dimethyl 1 2 3 propanal so 2 2 dimethyl propanal okay you can try the mechanism with this i will do it for these two molecules and if you want me to do, do this you can write in the comment box i will do for do for this also all right let us see the mechanism now mechanism of cartesiano reaction let me take methanol it is a very simple molecule so when it reacts with base then it is plus and it is minus the plus goes and attaches here electronegative element and oh goes and attaches here so it forms c h o minus na plus oh and H. now this acts as hydride donor okay this is a very important key topic or key point the key point is that it acts as hydride donor so a hydride donor will always cause hydride shift so now what will happen if it reacts with one molecule another molecule of methanol if it reacts with another molecule of methanol so here hydride shift takes place as a result it forms h c this minus will now come to its place back because this bond is coming out so it will form double bond na plus will go to the solvent and oh was already there this oh was already there so it forms the oxidized product plus this molecule will form c h and 1 h was there and 1 h was donated as hydride shift and this was the double bond o will become sodium salt of the alcohol and this na plus can remain in equilibrium with h plus so it forms reduced product this was the mechanism two products were formed all right so i have used two different colors to sort it two different uh, aldehydes now let us do the same practice for benzyl dehyde the same mechanism same steps will be followed for benzyl dehyde let us see what happens in that case
this is benzaldehyde reacts with base forms an adduct that means addition product o minus na plus oh here and h here now this becomes hydride donor so this hydride donor will now react with another molecule of benzaldehyde another molecular benzaldehyde let me draw with different color so it becomes more easy for you to visualize this is also benzaldehyde now hydride shift will take place this will get reduced this will get oxidized it will come to its original place and it will form OH, this was already there, plus double bond will become single bond. It will remain in equilibrium with H plus. in the solvent one h was already there and another h came from hydride shift so it is oxidized product this is reduced product so in this case we had seen that same type of benzaldehydes same type of aldehydes were used so this was self kanijaro reaction what if two different benzaldehydes are used then what will happen then cross kanijaro reaction will take place let us see the mechanism of cross kanijaro reaction now i'll take two different aldehydes one i am taking benzaldehyde and then i am taking methanol so what will happen this can form acid we know that this can form cooh this can also form ch2oh this will form c h c o h ethanoic acid and ch3 oh 
now since there is no condensation taking place so neither of this molecule will go and attach with the other molecule they will be only shifting their hydrides they will form oxidized product and they will form reduced product so they will form a mixture of acids or their sodium salts why they will form sodium salts because base is there in the solvent and alcohols so since they form a mixture of compounds so they do not give pure compound pure product is not obtained if pure product will not be obtained then it becomes synthetically that means for the purpose of synthesis less important now i practice question for you you can practice the mechanism by showing the mechanism of kanijaro reaction using ch3 c ch3 ch3 cho writing its product is very easy writing its product is very easy one mole will become ch3 whole thrice c cooh and the other molecule will become ch3 whole thrice c ch2oh huh? so what will be the mechanism okay draw the mechanism of it you have to show the mechanism what is missing here base is missing here if you treat this with naoh in ethanol This was about the mechanism of Kanijaro reaction and cost Kanijaro reaction.